Oh, hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and I want to talk about the alleged GME seller box and connection. Now, this is news to me because, and again, I'm a I'm a penny stock trader. I've always loved the over-the-counter bulletin boards, you know, the pink sheets, the sketchiest of the sketchy. And back during 2011, actually January, uh, no, September the 12th of 2011, I posted a video, and it was about uh, seller boxing. And I'm going to pop up a link if you've got, you'll probably get a pop up in YouTube at one of these corners, and you can watch my video from 9-12 of 2011. Now, that video all of a sudden, a few days ago, started to receive a surge of views, and I didn't know what it was. I was looking at my YouTube analytics. Where are these views coming from? You know, that was kind of a laggard video from 2011 until present or until a few days ago. So I performed my due diligence and I tracked back and it's actually a very fascinating story. There appears to be a large camp of people, possibly traders, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know these people that seem to associate the uh, seller boxed technique the seller boxing technique with GME. So uh, <laughs> that was funny. I had uh, I had a, a can of chili, and it uh, gave me a little bit of indigestion and hiccups. But you know, nothing on this is doctored up. You know, I'm not here to to shoot anyone a line of bull, and part of that means that I'm not here to uh, to try to turn you know to try to wordcraft that video from 2011 into something it wasn't. That video that I posted in 2011 was referring to penny stocks, in particular pink sheets, where a stock becomes seller boxed, meaning that it's often got a, an ask price of triple zero one, and it often has no bid. So, you know, hypothetically, if someone acquired that triple zero, triple zero one price per share stock, they wouldn't be able to let go of it because there's no market makers on the bid. Now, what may happen with that, you know, a stock like that may rise, and if it rises to triple zero three, often the bid will follow, and often the bid will be triple zero two. So there's going to be a large, there's probably going to be a large rush of people that had accumulated at the ask of triple zero one trying to exit, because if they exit, they may have the opportunity to possibly make 100% gain, because if you bought at triple zero one and you're able to exit at triple zero two, you know, minus taxes and commissions and all that stuff, that's a 100% increase. And that's that's pretty enticing for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people that just like to, you know, to pick up these alleged hidden gems and just sit on them. Now, what I don't know and what maybe y'all can educate me on, again, I'm not an expert, but this has really piqued my curiosity. Why do you feel that there might, and again, these are all assumptions. I, you know, I'm just, I'm asking questions here. Why do you feel that there may be a connection between GME and seller boxing. Seller, C-E-L-L-A-R, like a basement. That I can't figure out because at least my understanding of it, and again, educate me. You know, I'm not here. Call me a fool. Call me whatever. Comment down below. I don't care. I want to know. Why do you feel that GME may be going to be seller boxed? You know, that's, that's news to me because... When I think of seller boxing, I think of the sketchiest of the sketchy, the lowest tier pink sheets, the bottom of the OTC markets. That's what I think of. Are people trying to imply that GMA, GME rather, may be heading to the, to the OTC and that it may be heading to the lowest tier? You know, what, what, is, what is driving this? I, I don't know. I mean, I have dug everywhere online. There's a lot of forums on a lot of the popular sites like Reddit that I've read. There's several YouTube videos that I've watched. There's several fo miscellaneous forum posts that I found within Google searches. But what I haven't found is an answer that answers my question, and that's why is there this alleged, and again, alleged, I don't know, why is there this alleged connection between GME and seller boxing? Comment below. Tell me what you think. And be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And ask a bunch of questions because what I'd like to do is try to make this more of an interactive and entertaining conversation. You know, maybe do a live show in a day or so and just get a lot of people and, and talk about it. 
You know, what, 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 what do you feel and why? You know, let's get together. Let's, you know, let's try to talk through this because I'm curious now. Because my video, again, I got the little YouTube card up there. You can click it and watch it from 9-12 of the year 2011 ignited a few days ago. And that's unusual. So something appears, again, maybe, maybe not, but something appears to be going on or something appears to have enough buzz surrounding it that it creates the potentially false perception that something is going on. So chat about it. Chat about it, guys. Chat down below. And let's get together for a live show in a few days. Thanks for your viewership. And be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irix guy. And again, ring that bell icon when you do. And that'll notify you whenever I post another video. See you later. Hey, y'all. Captain Irix guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's YouTube.com forward slash Irix guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.